Hey everyone. Uh, 247 here, and I'm here with the Clash of the Castle predictions, which is tomorrow. I know I'm filming this late, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, but I just wanted to get this done. Because Zach, Zach and I are going to be, well, Zach is going to be reviewing it, I'm going to be watching it. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I'm not streaming it, sadly, but I am going to be helping, um, me and Phoenix Chanel have plans that day, so, um, yeah, just, um, yeah. So, Clash of the Castle Scotland. I'm excited. Uh, Zach, um, I'm supposed to rant about being a five-match show. Uh, yeah, maybe not enough matches. They could have added, like, a Sheamus, Ludwig Kaiser to the card, and I think it would have been fine, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm surprised. I guess they don't want... Gunther hasn't wrestled since fucking, um, King and Queen of the Ring, so that's, you know, interesting. But, oh well. Um, yeah, let's get into the predictions. Um... WWE Women's Championship is Bailey defends against home, one of the f three, four, technically four hometown people, Piper Niven. The, the promo Piper Niven cut on SmackDown, um, not this SmackDown, but SmackDown before, was really good. And I think has been the best, was the best promo she's ever done by like a country mile. But I don't see her winning this match either. I think Bailey's gonna keep the title a little longer and go into that match with Nia. Um, Piper's doing great, and I think she will eventually get the title, but I don't think this is part-time, sadly, so... And Zach agrees. Um, pretty much Zach and I have the same picks. Sami Zayn defends the Intercontinental Championship against Chad Gable. Now, Chad Gable is technically still a free agent, and I think they're working on a deal right now. I think Chad's staying with the company. I think Chad is winning this match. I think Chad's gonna become the new Intercontinental Champion. I think it's finally time to take the belt off. Sami, he's done a great run with it. I think it's just chad's time and i think it's also might be part of his new contract that he's just like oh yeah can i have the belt even for like a month and i'm like yes because i think we're gonna get chad gable versus otis at SummerSlam, which i'm excited for so chad gable for the win hopefully cody rhodes defends the wwe undisputed championship against aj styles in an i quit match i quit matches are fun we've had a few on the channel i've had one with phoenix now uh, that was awesome. That was like one of the first matches we had on the channel was that I quit match. It's still a special place in my heart. So I like I quit matches, but I think Cody Rhodes is going to win this. I don't think Styles is going to get the belt again anytime soon. He might win the world title, but not the WWE title soon. They might involve Mama Rhodes in it, but I think Cody's going to overcome these odds and win. I get why people think Cody's title reign hasn't been like amazing, but personally, I've enjoyed it. I, I just the stories I wish I liked a little more this I like this styles food because it's like something really interesting I think but I'm excited um to see how this match goes honestly because I think it's gonna be a really fun really good match next Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill defend the women's tag team titles against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark and Alba Fire and Isla Dawn the other two Scott two of the other Scots we'll get to the last one soon I can see this going two ways I could see Bianca and Jade Cargill easily just winning, because why bet against them? Or, I could see Alba Fire and Isla Dawn pinning either Shayna Baszler or Zoe Stark to win the titles in their home country, because I feel like at least one Scots person is winning tonight, because it just, if you have a show in Scotland, and you have every single Scot on the show fucking lose, I feel like the crowd's gonna fucking riot. I feel like they're gonna lose their shit. And honestly, I don't wanna fucking deal with that. I don't wanna hear that. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm Alba, mm, I think I'm gonna go with Alba Fire and Isla Dawn here. I think it's, this is a way to get the belts off of Bianca and Jade without having them get pinned. I think that's why they kind of made it a triple threat match. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. And finally, the match that I've been kind of like, oh, kind of worried about the most. Damian Priest defends the World Heavyweight Championship against hometown boy, Glasgow Zone, Drew... McIntyre. Now this match, we knew it was happening. We knew Drew was getting this match at Clash because as soon as they announced Clash was in Glasgow, like we knew, like oh, Drew might win the belt. But ooh, there's a certain CM Punk shaped hole that people are worried about. Like oh, CM Punk's gonna screw Drew in Scotland and it's gonna get the biggest boot from the crowd. I'm like. Are they really gonna have Drew lose again at Clash of the Castle? Like, again? Because the last time he had him lost, that he just sang a terrible, terrible karaoke thing. It was terrible, and he hated it. So I'd be really surprised. I, yeah, okay, I wouldn't be surprised, 
I wouldn't even be shocked, but I would be like, huh, that was a choice, not putting the belt on Drew during, you know, in his home country. I get, like, they want to keep the punk feud going, and they don't want, they don't feel like the title needs, the feud doesn't need the title, but, like, come on, you gotta give Drew his fucking moment in his home country. I feel like just not doing that is wrong. They've been giving him just everything here. He was inducted in the Scottish Wrestling Hall of Fame. He was at ICW, for fuck's sake. Like, this is Drew's... I feel like this is Drew's moment. I just... I feel like not giving him the win would just be kind of dumb. And I don't know why you... It just... It feels wrong. You know, like, again, the story we go to get a major heat for Punk, I understand. But he already cost Drew the belt at WrestleMania. Why would he do it again? You know, it just... It feels kind of silly at that point like do have him show up after drew wins or something i don't know it's just i don't know why you would have drew lose here i don't i'm picking drew mcintyre <sighs> zach picks drew i kind of almost want to pick damian priest kind of like how i pick roman reigns out of fear you know because i feel like oh they're gonna just do the bad thing and i don't know why people are so fucking excited for punk to just cost Drew like Drew's been doing literally the best work of his career. And you're just going to have him fucking lose in his home country, which you've been building this pretty much entire pay-per-view around him. And you're just going to have him lose. That is dumb. That is, it just feels dumb and wrong. Like, and I pointed out to Zach, and we talked about it. And I think, I don't know, it's just, I'm really curious to see what happens tomorrow. I really am. But yeah, Clash of the Castle. I hope it's good. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna watch it afterwards, probably. Um, I have plans tomorrow. Oh, speaking of tomorrow, I'm getting my Chromebook tomorrow. So it's gonna be a, like a kind of half tablet, half Chromebook thing. I got it for like 400 bucks. So I'm excited for that. That's gonna be mine. I can actually get back to work, not filming on this thing and uploading on my camera, wherever it is. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Clash of the Castle Scotland. I'm very excited for it because I just I just want Drew to win. That's that's kind of all I want from this show. I don't care. And also the whole I've had seen too many predictions where they have all the Scots losing. No, I just why would you book that? That's just it's dumb at that point. You know. I don't know. See you guys next time. More awesome wrestling content. Hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will next time. I you will guys will see me next time. And I mean this time. We might get a promo in there, but we're the next. If we don't get a promo in, the next video is the match. Like it's it's happening now. It's happening this Monday. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. See you guys next time.